Dr. Taylor's practice cares for 10,000 patients. Hold your points looking for the rest of the week. But none of them can have a routine blood test because of an NHS cyber attack. It's an anxious time for him and his patients. We can still send bloods urgently if we need to, and we've had to on certain occasions. The Synovus were processing about 10,000 uh, tests a day. I think that's gone down to about 400 and they're having to do it manually. So obviously working with them just to send the most urgent of uh, referrals. And the longer this goes on, the greater the risk of harm to patients. The longer it goes on, the more risk we take on as GPs and the more catch up we'll have to do at the end of it with regards to blood tests, checking those results and getting the team involved that, that we can manage that workload when it eventually comes back to us. Last week, hackers targeted Synovis, a company contracted to the NHS for blood test diagnostics. It means test results can't be sent electronically. Security experts have told Sky News that the NHS is particularly vulnerable. Everything that we are delivering healthcare-wise has got some element of digital component to it. Also, if you compare it to other critical sectors, we are probably much further behind, say, if you compare it to finance. Um, in terms of what we've invested in cybersecurity, um, and also if you look at the volumes of people who are using any given healthcare system on a daily basis, there's millions. The cyber attack has affected hospitals and healthcare facilities across London. It's impacted six NHS trusts, including major hospitals such as Guy's and St Thomas's, Great Ormond Street, and King's College Hospital. And while we don't have an exact number of patients affected, hundreds of operations have already been cancelled. NHS England says it's still gathering the data to show just how damaging this cyber attack has been. But privately, health officials are telling me that behind the scenes there's anxiety and panic. One told me that this is going to take months to sort out and harm to patients was, sadly, inevitable. To mitigate some of these risks, the NHS is calling on extra blood donors to come forward. The challenges of not having a pathology system means that they are manually having to check what blood type an individual has, and this takes time. Now, in emergencies, they have the option of giving O positive and O negative. Therefore, it's prudent that they have a higher quantity of that in the hospitals. What results have we got at all today? We've got minimum urine test. Dr Taylor and his patients have no idea when this disruption will end. The next few weeks could be a very worrying time. Ashish Joshi, Sky News in Greenwich.